let's try right now to uh, solve an example to try to compute and better understand what we have seen in the second part of this class. So um, it's something of course related to the evaluation of distributed and concentrated losses. You could find this example also in the materials uploaded in the site. So, basically, we have two tanks. And these two tanks are linked by a pipe. Right, so we have one and two tanks. So this is tank number one, this is tank number two. Both tanks are under pressure, which means that there's a part of your tanks that is full of gas at a pressure P1 and the pressure P2. Alright, we have said that these two tanks are linked by pipe and uh, inside this pipe there's a gate valve. What is a gate valve? Basically a gate valve is something that can um, modulate your flow, which means that if you are in the situation where your gate valve is totally open, then it is like it, it, it doesn't exist because your flow is free to move from tank 1 to tank 2. But if you close your gate bulb, basically you are reducing the flow that is moving from tank 1 to tank 2. Some data, so we know, you can find the numeric value on the exercise uploaded on the site. So I will, right here I will produce and try to describe better only the procedure. So we have right here Z1, which is this, the difference between a reference system Z equal to zero and the surface of your flow, because right here in the tank number one, you have gamma one. Right there in tank number two, you have again gamma 1 because it's every time the same flow in its water. No, it's not water, sorry, it's uh, uh, oil. Then you have that this tank and this one are under pressure. P1 and P2 are two values that are given in your data. So basically the data are Z1, then we know P1, then we know Z2, so we know this difference, and you, we know also P2. What does it mean that we know P1 and P2? It means that in this tank and in this tank, the fluid is equal to zero, which means that your cinetic height in Bernoulli is equal to zero. So basically, P1 over gamma gives you this height, and P2 over gamma gives you this height. Alright, so we know over gamma 1 of course and gamma 1 right here. So we know also gamma 1. 
what also we know? We know for pipe 1, which is this part of the pipe, we know L1, G, the diameter, and Ks. So is described by L1, G, and Ks, while for pipe 2 we have, so this part of the pipe, pipe 2 is L2, G, so basically they are of the same diameter, and Ks. So right here we'll have L2, G, and Ks. Remember that your gate valve is this thing right here. Ks is given, G is given, L1 and L2 are both given. The thing is, we want to determine we are our volumetric discharge in two cases. The first one is when your gate valve is totally open. The second one is when the degree of opening of your gate valve is equal to 0 0.5. So, first we should define what is a gate valve, or better, what is the degree of overture of your gate valve. So, the degree of overture eta is something that is related somehow to the case of the sudden enlargement because remember that when we discussed the case of the sudden enlargement we have something like this and we say that our flow the flow that is moving in this direction passes a cross section a1 and goes to the cross section A2. And we said that our decrease of head is delta H in this case equal to K again V to the power V2 to the power of 2 over 2G, which is again. A2, so the larger section over the smaller one, minus 1 to the power of 2 times V2 to the, po v2 to the power of 2 over 2G. You can find this in also in the previous slide. Alright, let's observe that in the case of a gate valve, Basically, we have something like this. We have the pipe and the flow is moving, for example, in this direction. Then we have the gate valve. That is something like this. And the degree of opening allows the flow to be smaller or larger. So basically you start from, if I recall this scheme, this will be the largest section and it's A2, then we have A2 also right here, and there we have the smaller section which was A1. So, the degree of opening eta is given by, by definition, it's the smaller section A1 over the greater one A2. Hence, in this case, delta H would be equal to 1 over, so to get the same um, ratio, it's 1 over eta, so it's 1 over eta minus 
1 to the power of 2 again times v to the power of 2 v2 but consider that your flow is not changing the dimension of I mean uh, the dimension of your section is not changes just in this point that you have a change so it will be v2 which is the velocity of your flow in entrance over 2g all right so let's try right now to solve our scheme take also another paper right so I try to okay so let's try to write the system equation for this scheme so basically we have to write Bernoulli's from tank 1 to tank 2 so it's again it's Bernoulli from 1 to 2 and it will be total at 1 minus first losses first loss and it's a concentrated one and it's 0 0.5 v to the power of 2 over 2 g then we have the first distributed loss in, along pipe 1 and it will be minus J1 L1 minus this gate valve gives you a concentrated losses loss which is 1 over eta minus 1 to the power of 2 times V to the power of 2 over 2 G again minus distributed losses in this part of the pipe which is J2 L2 minus the, the concentrated losses at the exit of your pipe which is V to the power of 2 over 2 G equal to the total head H2 remember that H1 is exactly Z1 plus P1 over gamma while H2 will be Z2 plus P2 over gamma again for both pipes we know that the diameter is constant but if the diameter is constant we can prove that J is also constant so the hydraulic gradient which means the slope of your distributed losses in this part in this part of the system is exactly the same all right and uh, another thing is that in your data you have KS so basically if in a problem you find that in the data is just given the Gauckler coefficient, the Gauckler circuit coefficient, it means that you can consider your flow as a turbulent one. So you don't have to do the procedure that we have seen before, like uh, um, suppose a kind of Reynolds, compute the friction factor and then compute Q, then check. We compute Reynolds number, compute friction factor and so on. So in the case that you have in front of you KS, you can just apply Chiesi's law, which means that J, so again, J1 is equal to J2, which is equal to J. And J is given by V2, uh, V, sorry, the power of 2 over C to the power of 2 times R which, which becomes 
v to the power of 2 over xi is equal to ks r to the power of 1 over 6 it's a 6, this one is not a 0 one. to the power of 2 times r which is equal to v to v to the power of 2 over ks to the power of 2 times r to the power of 2 over 6 which makes 1 over 3 times r and finally it's v to the power of 2 over ks to the power of 2 times r to the power of 4 over 3 all right R, circular pipe, so it's exactly G over 4. Then we can just translate this stuff right here in this thing and it becomes H1 minus 0 0.5 and 1 can be summed and we obtain minus 1.5 v to the power of 2 over 2g then we can also sum j1l1 and j2l2 because j1 and j2 are equal so they are minus j that multiplies l1 plus l2 all right again minus 1 over eta minus 1 to the power of 2 times v to the power of 2 over 2g everything g g is equal to h2 in the first case if the gate valve is open what happens it happens that if eta is open let's see if Okay, eta is open, it means that a1 becomes equal to a2, so if it's open, these two quantities are equal, and it means that eta is equal to 1. So if eta, so first case, if eta is equal to 1, then this term, this uh, equation turns to be h1, minus again 1.5 v to the power of 2 over 2g minus j that multiplies l1 plus l2 this terms this term sorry goes away because it's 1 minus 1 so it's 0 and everything is equal to h2 in the second case is eta is equal to 0 0.5 then we obtain that basically it's h1 minus again 1.5 v to the power of 2 over 2g minus the distributed losses so it's j that multiplies l1 l plus 2 L1 plus L2, sorry, then we have minus this term right here, which becomes 1 over 0 0.5, so it's 2 minus 1 and 1 to the power of 2, so 1, and we obtain V to the power of 2 over 2G. Everything equal to H2. And so again, we if you solve these two equation with the data of your problem, we will see that in case of eta equal to one, you obtain a certain value of Q, which would be something like 25 meters to the power of three over a second, and uh, in the second case, you obtain a smaller value of Q which means that if you decrease 
your degree of opening of your gate valve, you're also trying to decrease the volumetric discharge flowing inside your system. Last thing, last thing that we can see in this equation is the representation of the total head line inside your system. So, let's do it for example for this stuff right here. We obtain that. We start for, from H1 and it's H1 it's Z1 plus P1 over gamma. So right here we have H1. Then we have the decrease due to the square hedged entrance. So this right here is your so this one will be H1. Then right here we have 0 0.5 with the power of 2 over 2G. Then we have G1 L1, which means that respect an horizontal line. Respect an horizontal line, you have a degrees. So this is the horizontal line you have a decrease of your energy due to the distributed losses and this decrease right here is exactly J1 L1 then again concentrated losses and this time is 1 over eta minus 1 to the power of 2 that multiplies with the power of 2 over 2g. Again, the distributed losses, so respect, it, respect in a horizontal line, again, you have a decrease. All right, so it's something like this. Okay, so basically you will be, of course, better than me in the right in the drawing so this part right here is J2 L2 and finally the concentrated loss due to the to the um, entrance of the pipe in the second tank and finally the so this stuff right here will be equal to the power of 2 over 2g and finally, 82. So basically, just try to forget this little part. Okay. And again, if we want to um, evaluate the piezometric head, we have to we have just to take this line and decrease it of the cinetic height. So we'll have that in this case right here. Since your fluid is in white, you have this is a two. So from this part, and it's equal to capital A2. So right here you have another line. Then it decreases, it increases, sorry. Then again we have another line, it increases, and then again each one is equal to this one. So this stuff right here, so right here and right there are equal and it's equal to V2 to the power of 2 over 2g, so also this one. They would be different, for example, if g in this pipe is different, of course, from d in this other pipe. 
but not only and the two cinetic heights are different but also j would be different in that case.